welcome to Semi Tango. And so today we are going to discuss about the new topic that is our next C3 chemical, acetone. The molecular formula for acetone is CH3, CO, C double bond O, CH3. The methods of production are catalytic dehydrogenation of isopropanol, co-product of phenol process utilizing cumene, co-product of glycerin H2O2 process, oxidation of butane, oxidation of propylene which is also known as Wacker process, fermentation of molasses. The chemical reactions during this process are CH3 by CHOH gets converted to CH3 C double bond O CH3 plus H2 that is our isopropanol gets converted to acetone and hydrogen gas. Also this other way out which in which the reaction can be carried is that our isopropanol can be added with oxygen to form acetone and water. The raw materials used for this process is 87% pure isopropanol which we get from the previous process that is discussed in the previous video. You can watch it. Next, the operating conditions for this reaction are the pressure is about 3 to 4 atm and the temperature is 400 to 500 degrees Celsius. The copper catalyst or we can also use the brass as a catalyst over a porous carrier and it is a vapor phase reaction. Next, let us discuss about the flow sheet for manufacturing of acetone by dehydrogenation of isopropanol. First of all, the isopropanol is heated using steam and is converted into vapors. Then it is compressed to about 4 to 5 atm. Now, this isopropanol is sent to a tubular catalytic reactor which has copper or brass as a catalyst over a porous carrier. Then the temperature of reactor is maintained about 500 degrees Celsius and 4 to 5 atm. Fluid gas is passed on the shell side of the reactor for heat exchanging. Now the acetone form is unreact and the unreacted isopropanol is sent and absorbed in the water scrubber. Water scrubber. Also, the condensed vapors are formed which are sent to the acetone fractionator to give acetone as a top product and dilute isopropanol as the bottom product. The isopropanol with water that is dilute isopropanol is then again sent to isopropanol column which gives about 87% iso isopropanol which can be recycled again for the same process. Also, the water that, is, that we obtain from the isopropanol column is recycled back to the water, scrub, water scrubber <coughs> using water condenser. Next, let us discuss about the major engineering problems for this process. The main engineering problem is about the selection of the operating conditions because the reaction is favored at a high temperature and low pressure. And so to reduce the size of reactor, we need to select particular operating conditions. Reactor design should also be taken care of and proper engineering materials like chrome steel is to be used. Here we cannot use mild steel in the reactor because it may cause issues with uh, due to the manufacture of product. I hope you understood this process and like this video. Do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.